Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I actually just decided to wear dresses. Obviously not to go to work. Just because I was looking into my wardrobe, I was just seeing those dresses and I was like, oh, I just wonder if I still fit in it and if I still like them. Just in case I wanted to give them away. Turns out I still love them so much, as much as I used to. I thought, you know what, let me just make a quick video. And obviously those are not the only dresses I have. I just decided to kind of choose a specific kind of dress. Those dresses all have one thing in common and it's the shininess. Shininess? Shininess? Give me a second. So we do say shininess. They all have glitters in a way or another. I have specifically five of them. Let's start with the first one I wore. We have this black Zara dress. I remember buying this dress in December 2017, something like that, because I remember wanting to buy a dress for Christmas Eve. So I bought this black dress that I shortened just a little bit because I felt like it was a little too long for me. Uh, actually, you can tell that those are like sequins. I love it because you can change the way it will shine, which I think is very cool. That's like probably the inner child in me that loves this. It's quite heavy actually and the original fabric is velvet, which I love because it makes the dress so so soft, comfortable. Obviously from inside there is a lining which is kind of soft too, so it's not uncomfortable at all to wear. I would say like if you have longer hair, at least like longer than your shoulders, your hair gets a little bit stuck in the sequin sometimes, but overall this is a dress I really really love. I think I wore it only like twice, something like that. Not really a dress you can wear anywhere, I guess. Actually, well you will see it in the video, but I love the color part. It's very traditional Chinese kind of colors. Love those details. I think it's so pretty and elegant. That's definitely the reason I bought it in the first place because of that specific detail. Otherwise if it was plain simple I don't think I would have liked it as much. So yeah this was like the first dress I wore. Then the second dress we have is so special to me and I will tell you immediately why. We have this super simple in a way kind of yellow dress. It used to be a little bit longer. Again, I shortened it because I love mini dresses, I love mini skirts, and I just felt like it fitted me more too, as I'm not a tall person at all. I just feel like those kind of dresses fits me better when they are shorter. What I like the most about this dress are obviously the details of those glittery beads and also those little pleats here we have. And then again here on the bottom, of the dress and honestly just the fabric in general. I think it's very lovely, elegant, chic, classic and let me tell you from where I got this. To make it short, my mom knew a woman who was very very old, like 90 something and she basically gave some of her dresses and some clothes from when she was younger. So this dress is the most vintage clothes I have and it's from the 60s. If you know a little bit about fashion I think you would have guessed it so easily because of the colors and just those details the way this dress has been made. If I remember well this dress originally had sleeves now I don't remember if they were short or long I generally don't remember I've had this dress since I was a teenager and I remember modifying it when I was a teenager so maybe when I was like 17 years old 16 years old something like that I really do not remember like I know there were sleeves because of the way I corrected the edges of these sleeves but I cannot remember how long they were. Anyways, I love this dress so much. I've worn it like maybe two or three times too. I love how it fits me. Obviously I made sure it fitted my body and apparently my body didn't change that much from 10 years ago thankfully. This dress has no brand. This is probably because I unstitched it back then. So I don't even remember where it's coming from. Also, I'm wearing it with those yellow heels because for obvious reasons the dress is yellow too and I felt like those were the most appropriate colors to wear as shoes. Just because I felt like wearing maybe simple black high heels or something would be too predictable. Whereas here it just makes the whole outfit from top to 
Tito so bright, so colorful and just fresh in general. I'm definitely looking forward to wear this whole outfit for an event or something like in summer or late spring when it gets warmer. This is one of my favorite dresses also because it's so different from the kind I already have. Then for the third dress, if you thought the first dress was super shiny, you haven't seen this one. I remember seeing this dress in Zara and I was like, I want this. I don't care how shiny this is. I really want it. Did I need it? Not at all. I did wear it for my one of my cousin's baby showers, so I still made it useful. But yeah, this is definitely something I didn't need and actually quite unusual for me. And this is because it's very large. I usually like when garments in general fit my body perfectly. So this is definitely something very uncommon for me. I still like it though, just because of this difference. I think it's very cute super girly. I feel like it still gives a kind of classic touch and it's probably because of the color we have here which is actually a detail I love very much here and also the longer sleeves that I really like. So this is also one of those garments where your hair gets like stuck a little bit in the sequins but yeah, other than that I really like it. In the video you are probably going to see if I remember well when I put it like more tight to my waist which I actually prefer and it made me wonder if I wanted to correct this dress and just make it more fitted to my body. The reason I'm hesitating is only because those kind of fabrics are very annoying to correct because I will have to unstitch some of the sequins and then only try to fix like the size of the fabric. Yeah, just the thought of it makes me not make me want to do this. So this was the third dress and then we have the fourth dress which I love so much too. It's not the most largest one like the previous one nor the most tightest to my body either which I kind of like too. This is also a dress I bought in Zara a few years ago and I actually bought it for my friend's engagement party. I love the shoulder straps here because of how thin it is and I feel like it makes a dress so much more elegant because it shows your collarbone even more and I feel like this part of a woman is so so pretty so beautiful so charming and attractive which is why I love dresses with very thin straps this is a dress with dozens of sequins and the inside is a simple lining which is very soft to the skin too this is also a dress I shortened because I felt like it was too long I think it was like this longer which I didn't like and then the fa my favorite part of this dress as you can see in the other pictures and in the video too I believe is the back of the dress lower and I believe it goes like till my waist something like that that's definitely a beautiful detail of this dress I feel like it makes the whole dress just more sexy and honestly I'm just going to say sexy because it's just definitely way more sexy than if it was normal and just way higher up on my back I love this dress so much I love the color too I feel like the shininess of of this dress and the back part of this dress makes makes it all perfect and so worth to buy for sure. And then we have this last dress that I bought on AliExpress. Also super shiny dress as you can see. I love the split here on the leg which I feel like is super chic, super sexy for whatever reason. I feel like it makes your legs longer and more elegant. Like it just emphasizes the shape of your legs and I feel like it gives such a chic touch which I love so much. Again this dress has very tiny straps as you can see and it definitely makes your chest, your collarbones, your neck so much more elegant and soft and just beautiful. And then we have the back of the dress which is one of my favorite part of the dress too because one I do not have any kind of dress of this kind and, and two it makes your back so much more sexy too. Also we have this detail in the back here with this elastic on the lower back it definitely makes your lower back in better shape your bum in a better shape unfortunately i do not have a video of this dress because 
my phone didn't have any space anymore and I just couldn't even take a picture of other sides of this dress. I might find selfies I done when I tried this dress for the first time so I might show them here. But yeah, other than that I really love all those dresses so much and I felt like a little goddess in all of them while I was trying them and it made me look forward to go to events and feel so pretty and elegant. Yeah, I think I said pretty much every reference of this dress beside the yellow one. As I said, I do not know where it's coming from. Uh, otherwise, the other ones are from Zara and then this last dress is from AliExpress. And I'm pretty sure I still can buy it because I bought it last summer. The other ones I definitely bought years ago, so I really doubt you will be able to find them, but I'm sure you can find similar ones elsewhere. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you like this video. I know it has absolutely nothing to do with the outfits I would usually prepare for work. But yeah, I just wanted to have fun. I hope you had fun watching this video too. If you like this video, please give it a like. Also comment below if you want to see more of the dresses I have and if you want me to try them on too. I'm definitely looking forward to do like summer dresses, outfit hauls and subscribe to my channel if that's not done yet. If you want to see more of my outfits videos, I definitely recommend to do that. And other than that, I hope to see you next week. Bye!